Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Factorio, shall we? Continuing where we left off with our complete beginner's guide, and look at this. We've got a dreamland here of... Oh, there's actually even coal up here. I didn't see that on my map, but this area has coal, copper, and oil all right here. However, we're playing on peaceful, but we're right in between some spitters and baddies, and we don't want to mess with them at all. So we've got this oil that's right here. And it's coming. We've got power to it. We need to send it. We also want to send this copper. So we're going to need a train system that accommodates both of those things. Now, what I'm actually going to do is belt and pipe this down far away from the spitters. Because I don't want to accidentally, uh, you know, cause any kinds of problems <laughs> by in hitting them with a train and accidentally engaging them. Uh, so I'm going to just clear out space here and make my train station close enough so it's not belting and piping forever, but far away. Um, from this, the uh, bad guys. So like maybe... Actually, I'll put it right down here. This is great. So we'll put it in this huge clearing. And you can see we're south of both of these bad dudes. If I look at the map right here, um, this is our oil. This is our coal, uh, copper. And then we can actually feed coal uh, over here. There's another copper node, but there's bad guys on it. So it's uh, you know a little dubious. But anyway, if we put our station here and then pipe this down and belt this down, we should avoid any complication. I don't believe that the guys can get killed by a belt. Uh, so that's great news. Now let's go ahead and build ourselves a little loop-de-loop -loop train station. This is a good spot. So I'm going to go to my rail, and I'm going to just kind of see if I can um, put this in... Let's see. I'm going to go somewhere where I can reach it for now. Uh-huh. And I need to have this come back around. And this is about right. Like, that's pretty good. And honestly, that's just about perfect. That should work just fine. So... Uh, we'll have to clear out some trees and stuff to get it there. We have trees cleared out for the power lines, um, but let me clear this out. And this is, robots just make your life so much easier for stuff like this. You don't have to chop anything. They'll just do it. All right. So let's say the train comes in going this way. So we want to build a station that stops the train uh, here is fine. Okay. And then... Uh, they're going to go ahead and try to build the rest of the train. So then we're going to drop a locomotive on that. And we're going to drop um, a cargo wagon here. And I'm going to need to make a f fluid wagon or 10 if I haven't already made them. We'll start with one and just see how that goes. I think that's reasonable. Okay. Um, so we have now... The coal can at least power our locomotive. I mean, that's good. Do I have any coal on me? I have a little bit. There you go, buddy. All right, so we're going to... We're not using the best stuff. We're just using what we got. 
I don't think I have any greens on me. I'll have a few stack inserters on me. Uh, I could use some, sure. Yeah, I don't have any chests on me either. All right. So we're going to start this out pretty modest. We can expand this. This is where we are. You know, we're not um, making breakthroughs yet because in order to get the next science coming in reliably, we want to develop a full system here. And this is... You can rush and just get the bare essentials to get a, a few science, like purple, whatever kind of science you're looking for, higher level science. But in my opinion, the problem with that um, is that you won't have a reliable system set up to sustain that. And so what I'm trying to do is just build up enough of the foundation so that once we get it running we will smoothly have that in. I mean, there's even iron over here that we can add in by belting it here. This could be a massive train operation. There is so many good things up here. We could even try to steal some of this copper uh, and the belts, you know, we could just belt it over if once we deplete that potentially. So the fluid wagon, um, we probably want to build, you know, a storage tank to put as an intermediary here and not probably definitely so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to pipe oops uh, where's my pipe here it is oh right it's interesting um <laughs> You use an inserter to grab this. So maybe I want to do this more carefully. I don't rightly know if I've actually ever done this. Moved oil in this way. I usually just move oil. Um, let's see if this actually works. God, I don't know. We're going to have to mess with this. I usually move oil... Uh, with just pipes but I'm going to try get setting this up okay starting to look alright oops there you go alright So let's work on this portion first. See if we can get the oil moving. And then from here, actually, we'll go ahead and just start moving it. to take this wait not like that sorry there it goes all right let's see how this is moving you can see the oil's coming in Okay, so at this point, 
the storage tank is filling up. Which is good. But the fluid wagon itself... It's not... These inserters are not grabbing drops. So, let's see if I can just... No, that didn't work either. Okay, so I actually had to straight look this up because I've never done it. And... Um, you use a pump to put it on to the wagon. So, at this point, this wagon, um, I think, is, yeah, there we go. Now it's getting it. So, I don't know if I can use more than one pump or if it's even necessary. Uh, maybe, right? But what I did was I have these storage tanks as a buffer, and then it's just... Um, because I didn't know, I could have just arranged this all on one side, but I've got it going like this. It, it, it's going to work. So you go into oil and you just make a pump. And then when you've got your pump finished, you can put it, you want to make sure that the arrow is pointing toward the wagon. And then you connect the pipe like that. And this thing is full. Like that fluid wagon is full up. 25k. It went pretty quickly, actually. So, that's awesome. So now we have a flu wagon. I mean, I could maybe set up more than one. I don't really know if that's a good idea, but here we are anyway. The train station is done. So now uh, the fluid is working. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, like I said, normally you know, on my Let's Play of Factorio, I just piped everything, even if it was super far away. I would just run underground pipes forever. But I wanted to try setting up a fluid wagon, and that's how you do it. So that's awesome. And now we've got coal, which we need to set down. For at, I mean, we could extract coal if we really, really wanted, but I don't. in in mass you know and and send it out but i think what i'm gonna do is just have it currently for the locomotive now we could instead of using electricity up here uh we could use you know burner drills but i've got all of these made so i'm just gonna kind of you know i know i'm missing this little patch right here it's fine Okay, and then I'm going to copy this. Oh, let me go over here. Get these guys to put those in. And then uh, we will put this here. And here. Get those trees out of the way, guys. And there. Now, this isn't perfect, but this is a lot. I actually ran out. So I don't even have enough drills to make this happen, but it's, look how sweet that looks. This is gonna be an amazing operation when we get it going. And we're just gonna turn this over here, run red belts like this. I should have put the belts in as part of the schematic, but that's okay. Mm, we don't need it right there, but we don't even need it there. Save some belts. Alright, so I'm not going to put any more belts because now I'm running out. Uh, but what I'm going to do is... Uh, there's some copper that I might want to get here. So I'm going to just run this down like this. And send these over about to here. And then... Uh, put these there. Okay. And 
and we want the output priority to the right. Just put it all to the right. Then I'm going to drop in some power. One, two. Yeah, I should have built the power lines too. Now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, we'll get there. All right, so let's move this. It's not as s clever to do it this way. I mean, it saves some belts, but you have to use so many. Yeah, we're gonna run out, but we're so close. All right, can I make some more? Only a few. All right, we're not as close as I thought. I'm doing it. It ain't pretty, but it worked. Oh, we're like too short. Here we go. Here it comes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, this works, sort of, but the problem is, <laughs> we don't have any, uh, we don't have any red belts left for the coal setup, but we'll get there. Oh, wait, no, it, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, just do this. Yeah, we're going to cruise through here, do this. That looks awesome. And then around this power pole. Wait, where's the train? Let me see where my train is. It's there. Now. Ah, you know what? Let's have some fun. I don't recommend this, but I'm going to be wild. I'm going to put this train on the same line as the other train just to show you about train signals. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm probably going to get it wrong. Train signals are a little bit complicated, uh, <laughs> but it's fun because the trains can share the same track. Many players don't use them at all because they're wonky. Um, or you just run tracks in parallel, and I understand that. I, you know, I get it. I'm going to run down here. I don't know. My robots might run out of power when I try to do this. So here's what we're going to do. This is the track. Now, we can just run the track, you know, in parallel. Or, we could set up an unnecessarily complicated switching system. And I love the idea of it. Just for demonstration purposes. So, trains and switching. So, oh, I don't have any plates for the signal anyway. 
That's probably for the best. I have robots, I think, sitting around, like, dying uh, because they're out of electricity. You guys can just come back to me. Oh, they want to build this whole thing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can finish the track, or try to. This uh, section right here of the track that's purple on the map, that means we haven't finished it. So let's go, let's let the uh, robots work and punch this in. So I'll go get... I need to go home to refill all of my parts. Okay, there we go. That's done. And you can see it's working. It's loading it in. It's This is actually full. So this whole thing is is full of all of its stuff, which is tremendous. Now, I could be boring, and instead of... Uh, moving just crude oil with the fluid wagon. I could process it with a refinery and then send, um, like we're doing here, the uh, plastic, right? Or the sulfur. But what fun is that? Also, if I connected this right here, um, you see how we're just making fuel? I could connect that to the logistics network and get that going. You know. I think what I'm going to do is take my oil from the train and... Hmm, there's some interesting things we could do here. I might take my oil from the train, actually, and send it here to get refined because um, you know you could see that we are not making that much um, plastic with the oil that we have like this line doesn't get very much like look at this this thing is like barely getting oil from over here I wonder if I've dropped in those pumps if I could make this better like if my pressure is dropping because I don't have enough pumps I gotta tell you, I'm terrible at this. I just kind of build enough and, and pray that it works. Where'd you go, pump? Here it is. So, like, what if, you know, for example, up here somewhere, I was just like, hey... You know, I don't know if this is going to help my speed at all, or if really what's slowing me down is just this. No, it, it has nothing to do with that. I was fine. I'm just not getting very much oil from up there. Okay, so... Well, I was going to, like, merge the tracks, but... I think there might not be a reason to do that. I think what we do is um, redo this track so I can add a fourth car of copper and uh, put a loop here and just take out the oil, put it here, and then just send copper over to another car. So what I can do is um, take out as much of the track as we can. Do 
this guy isn't moving because it's waiting for, you know, this to fill up. Like, what's your condition? It's, it's asking about coal only. So here it says... Um, This is less than this. And this guy. This is. Doing well. Are you on automatic? Yeah, you are. So Cold Drop 1 says it wants the cargo to be less than 400 of coal. But it can't be. It's never going to move. Because um, even with this, like, these extra storage chests. So instead, what I should do is change this condition to plastic is full. So let's go here. I, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm just going to say plastic is... Um, Greater than or equal to 400 will move it. So, let's just have it moving. Because th there's... It's backlogged on coal. Like, I'm sending coal up here, but I'm not using it fast enough because it's not getting enough oil. I might be able to change that later. Alright, so now, I'm going to try and fix this train. And by fixing it, what I'm doing is... I want to make it smooth so that I can add that fourth car on the end. Uh, that is... No, no. What in God's name did you do that for? Stop it. That is the ugliest, stupidest looking track. <laughs> I was trying to get it to um, just build it right through the trees. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, you mean Curly Q? No, no, no. I don't mean that. Um, yeah. Go straight here. There you go. And then... I need you to merge. Can you... That's good, but I need you to get on here. That's perfect. Just like that. Okay. So now... Uh, well, you can finish this up. This is where the sulfur comes in. And what we want to do is, uh, once it gets back here, we can set this up more easily. But it'll be basically, we have a car that's right. Here we go. Um, I'm going to park it. Oh, it's already leaving. Shoot. Well, how did it leave already? Did you not unload your plastic? Oh, you know what? It's all contingent on... Um, <laughs> it's all contingent on plastic or uh, coal. So like this guy is like, um, here train this train here. It's coming back. Here manual. I'm just gonna pull it in and say manual for now. Look at all that plastic. Okay. So what I need to do at the other station um, for this, it needs to be that this is, um, the weight condition is empty cargo, or no, um, yeah, item count, uh, plastic is, um, less than or equal to zero. There you go. But for the meantime, while that's thinking about that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in uh, one more cargo wagon right here. And this cargo wagon is going to be the copper. 
So I'm going to um, put this here. And then we're eventually going to want this on both sides. When we can. But I don't have the belts and I don't have the crates. So I'll put some of this down. Okay. So this is a big process, but it's going to get us, uh, you know, a really, really nice operation. So let's finish this train system. We don't need to build the... Uh, we don't need to build it the way that I thought. I'm actually going to take out this diagonal stretch. Unless I can put in the... Yeah, you can put this on the diagonal. That's fine. All right, then let me... Um, we just need to loop it back. Like that. No. No, you can't... Never mind. You can't easily put it on a diagonal. But if I stop the train here, it's got... This is enough space to do some stuff. Okay. And then from here, we need to take out the oil and the copper. No problem. Oh my god, so many problems. So this is... Uh, <laughs> This is how it goes. This is a lot of stuff that we have to do. And when you're moving, like when you're away from your base and you don't have, you know, all of the supplies, it can take a moment. But what we've got is this train right here. Okay, so we're going to call this Add Station um, Dark Ice. Uh, and the weight condition here will be... Um, full cargo and then we're going to add a station which is this one down here um, stop is inaccessible from current position now why is that is it because the train oh because we didn't finish the track okay right I'm like what's going on here no they didn't kill these trees and build it. they'll get there Alright, so then um, we need to actually go to this guy and say um, empty cargo. And then I'm an automatic. So this train should move. I'm stuck in the trees. There we go. Is it moving? There it comes. And it stopped. Sweet. Alright, alright, we're making progress. So. What we have to do is basically finish this by unloading the copper and unloading the oil. And I'm going to insert the oil into this refining operation. We can scale that up if we need to, but you could see it's not sending very much sulfur or very much plastic. And we really, really want to boost that. We have a bunch of stuff to, you know, iron out. We don't have uh, the power set up here. We need way more red belts. So I'm going to have to run back to uh, our base and get all of the pieces. But it's starting to shape up. <laughs> We've got a fluid wagon and we're going to be in business for copper and oil in a moment. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. It takes a while to scale out, but we're getting there. I'm going to drop some radar too so we can search for more stuff. Take care.